All right, so I have a third power here, which means I have to write everything out, write the parentheses out three times. We've already done one of these, so this shouldn't be awful, but it's got bigger numbers, so that means the numbers have to be bigger. So let's do the first two parentheses first. And remember, it doesn't matter what order you choose to do them in. So 5x squared times 5x squared is 25x to the fourth. 5x squared times negative 10x is negative, not 10, negative 50x to the third. Negative 10 times 5x squared, negative 50x to the third. Negative 10x times negative 10x, positive 100x squared. Combine these middle two terms, 25x to the fourth, minus 100x to the third, plus 100x squared. And I got to drag down that last parenthesis there. All right, now these numbers are going to get a little bigger, but they are all multiples of five. Uh, I'm going to flip this around. Uh, I did one of these before, and if you did that one, you saw me do this. If you do the box thing, you don't need to do this. And if you do it this way, you don't necessarily need to do it. It just makes the, it a little easier to look at. All right. So let's go careful here. 5x squared times 25x to the fourth is definitely x to the sixth. All right, 5 times 25 is 125. So 125x to the fifth. 5x squared times negative 100x to the third is negative 500x to the fourth. 5x squared times positive 100x squared is positive 500x to the third. Let's slide this over. Negative 10x times 25x to the fourth is negative 250x to the fifth. Negative 10x times negative 100x to the third is positive 1000x to the fourth. Negative 10x times 100x squared is negative 1000x to the third. All right, so we've got it all squeezed in there. So let's look for our like terms. There should be at least a few. I've got this one, and that one, and I've got this one, and that one. I feel like I wrote something wrong. Let's go back and see what I did wrong. Yep, I did. All right. So normally I'd make a new video, but I'm going to show you where I did this wrong. We're going to go back to the beginning here. I don't know. I probably said it right, and then wrote it down wrong. 5x squared times 25x to the fourth is 125x to the sixth. That's right. 5x squared times negative 100x to the third. x squared times x to the third is x to the fifth. All right. 5x squared times 100x squared is 500x to the fourth. All right. So I had those two x when it's wrong. I'm going to double check the blue just to be safe here. Negative 10x squared. Or sorry, negative 10x times 25x to the fourth is negative 250x to the fifth. That's fine. Negative 10x times 100x to the third is positive 1,000x to the fourth. And negative 10x times 100x squared is negative 1,000x to the third. All right, so be careful, all right, because you're, you're seeing me make a mistake in this, not on purpose. All right, I notice them because I notice patterns and things. I also know what it's supposed to look like. You're not going to do that, all right, probably. So you want to make sure that you are paying attention to what you're doing closer than I just did. 125x to the sixth, all right, negative 500 minus 250 more is negative 750x to the fifth. Uh, positive 500 and 1,000 is positive 1,500x to the fourth, and then negative 1,000x to the third. Oops, I forgot a zero. It's not going to look as reasonable for zero. Okay, so not any harder, the numbers are a little bigger and the exponents you gotta be careful with. Other than that, we're good. If you made it this far, you know, you never stop practicing this enough because it's just, there's so many ways to make little tiny mistakes in what you're doing.